Hi, and welcome to the Embroidery Quick Tip of the Week, brought to you by OMLPatches.com. I'm going to show you, uh, for a quick tip this week, how to make a fast design, I guess you can say. There's two ways of doing it, and I know there's a very um, quick and perfect way of doing it. So first of all, it's just a simple design. First of all, we're going to bring in our picture, which I have tons of stuff on my computer, so bear with me. And it's just a simple picture of a dog bone. And you say, yes, I have it all. That's a little bit big, so let's go make it smaller. It isn't the greatest picture. Um, so there's two ways of doing it. You can, we want to have it filled in. We want to, you could go around and bend your edges. And you can do a, you know, a pretty good job doing it this way. It's going to take you a few minutes. Now, granted, this is a very simple program or design that we're doing, but you can go along and do it this way. See, I'm I'm actually doing a pretty good job. It's going to take a few minutes, and you just click and bend. Try to get it right. Anyways, you can get the idea of this. This is one way. Um, if it's a complex design I guess you should probably do it this way but I have a very fast way of doing it which is awesome okay and drag that because it's closed and my mouse is acting up Wow really let's just fix what I just did by accident there my mouse is kind of slippery just put it back up and bend it all straight there we go generate your stitches See, now that's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. So let's delete that. I'm going to show you uh, a nice, easy way of doing it. Uh, I picked solid, so closed object. Then I'm going to go up here to shape, and we're going to pick, it's fairly big, so I guess I'll pick that, and we're going to pull out a circle. And right click two elements, and we're just going to generate it because I'm going to size it a little bit better. Hey, look at that. I'm good. So that fits perfectly. So then we're going to right click and then we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to place it here. And then we're going to right click and we're going to duplicate it again. And we're going to put it right here. See how perfect that is? Even though our, our image isn't perfect, this one will be. And duplicate. And right there so that fits in nicely looks kind of weird right now but we'll fix it and we're gonna pick a solid fill object again and we're gonna go across maybe to there and then down and then across I'm gonna adjust that a little bit I pretty much of a perfectionist when it comes to embroidery so I like everything to be just so. Okay, now these edges don't matter and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Generate those. So now we have, you can see over on the right here, we have four circles and a square. It looks kind of like a bone, but not really. So let's fix that. We're gonna draw that out and we're gonna go to this, not out auto out outliner, where is it? Shaping just took me a minute feels like a Monday, but it isn't so we've selected everything the four circles and the square and we're going to go to Union and click on that and it's going to put them all into one So let's get rid of those ones just so we don't see them and there it is and we're going to um, generate the stitches and there you go. Now that's absolutely perfect. The circles are perfect and it's all in one piece. If you can see that, it's all in one piece. If you don't like it and you want to go back and make adjustments, the pieces are here. Now I would make them visible again. You can see what you did. And holding down the shift key and clicking, right click and you can delete them or you can save them. I'm not going to use them. So delete. Now we're only left with one. Isn't that awesome? Thank you very much. And uh, we'll have another big, long educational video coming up next week. 
And that's my dog barking. Isn't that all?